Uh, now, some of the world's most uh, influential politicians were in Lancashire this weekend, you might know, for the G7 Speakers Conference. The Speaker of the House of Commons, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, chose to host the event in his hometown. I think someone said they'd be nice not to do it in London, so he picked Chorley, of course. And his contemporary from the United States, Nancy Pelosi, said it lived up to expectations. I don't quite know what she expected from Chorley Cakes and Lancashire Hot Pot. She didn't say, but she obviously enjoyed herself. And as Mike Stevens reports, there were other highlights from around the northwest too. Boys! Boys! Ashley Hall, welcome! Speaker, Nancy Pelosi! Chorley was standing on ceremony this weekend and made international headlines. The connection between the town and the US goes back hundreds of years. One of the Pilgrim Fathers, Miles Standish, was from the town. When the servicemen of World War II came to be stationed at Chorley, they were in awe at the fact that they were then coming to worship on a Sunday at St Lawrence's Church, where Miles Standish and his family had, had been hundreds of years before. And so they, as a sign of appreciation, gifted a Stars and Stripes. And a local filmmaker even captured American troops parading outside the church. In such a historic and beautiful way. On Saturday, Nancy Pelosi gifted the people of Chorley the same flag that was flown over the Capitol building during President Biden's inauguration. I'm particularly excited by the connection to America of Miles Standish from this area that the uh, distinguished speaker has educated us on. This is about rekindling history as well and the fact that the American troops were based here who lost their lives on the Normandy beaches. The fact that they were at Washington Hall in Chorley and people still talk about the Americans have been in Chorley and it's that great bonding that's coming back together. The ceremony took place at St Lawrence's Church. For the Diocese of Blackburn to be involved at this level in such a, a major, uh, what I would call an international event, is, is really important. And for us to be, as a, as a county, hosting uh, this event is really good. And therefore, because it's happening in the Diocese of Blackburn, it's just another important mark of, of the work that we're doing. But it wasn't just Chorley that was showcased this weekend. The speakers also enjoyed a stroll down the Corrie Cobbles. And Speaker Pelosi even called in at the Rovers. Here they are, here they come. Oh, my goodness. There's one on the side. But in the end, this was all about Mr Speaker's hometown of Chorley. And the grand finale came in the skies above Astley Hall. Mike Stevens, BBC Northwest Tonight, in Chorley.